kingdom is strong and has many times overcame hardships that would have crushed lesser rulers. Your people respect you greatly. Ooh, we haven't gotten Tower of Babel and there's three hidden achievements. Welcome back to Kingdoms and Castles. You guys are loving this series and I am absolutely enjoying playing it. This has been quite an adventure, okay? Now today things are gonna get interesting. It's the year 161 and the year of our toast. And we have an impressive invasion army because the goal today is to invade Lord Google. We're currently neutral. We don't know the size of his army. And remember, as Sun Tzu said, size matters, especially if it's armies in the art of size, uh, a, a compendium book to the art of war. But we've got our five ships. We've got numerous. Each one of these can hold three units. We're going to continue to train an army and rally them up here so that all these boats can land. Basically, the strategy is gonna be like this. We're gonna create a massive D-Day invasion force. But real quick, Baron's Brigade, this video is sponsored by Warpath. Warpath is a free-to-play mobile strategy game that combines real-time strategy with the story of World War II as the background. It is totally free-to-play, and you can experience classical battles such as the Normandy landings on your phone, anytime, anywhere. Warpath faithfully restores everything in history, everything from small guns, tanks, and warplanes, all the way up to large tactics and battles. And you can freely command your troops and enjoy the thrill of manipulating the battlefield. Now we've played Warpath before, and the reason I'm recommending Warpath to you guys again is that they are now adding the Air Force. They have just arrived in the most recent update. Now, now there are 42 new fighter and bomber units for you to collect, including the P-52 Mustang. Over time, you'll get to improve your air force and tactically deploy them in ways that add a whole new dimension to the battlefield. <laughs> and on top of that, John claude Van Damme shows up and brings unimaginable munitions and generous rewards. It's a goofy addition, but I'm not gonna lie, I, I like it. So you should definitely join me and click the link in the description below to download the game for yourself. Use my code AIRFORCE2021 to get gold, oil, steel, and the Air Force Experience book. So make sure you download now using the link in the description. I'll see you there. Now back to the action. And uh, I'm thinking that the target of opportunity uh, is the south. We've got this tower here. He's got two other towers and then the castle. I think we have to take over the castle. So we're gonna start, this little spot looks weak enough to invade, not too many walls, not too many obstacles. We should be able to walk in and destroy this tower. I'm not sure if we can only do it with catapults or soldiers. This is gonna be a little bit rough because it's a learning experience. Oh good, we do have two catapults. That's fantastic. We're working on a third. We're finally like buying tons and tons of weapons so that we can pump these things out. Graveyard isn't full, but I think it, at one point we might need to work on maybe another graveyard. Could always put it in the north. I'm working on my little Netherlands area. <laughs> Look at this. The castle actually has a purpose now. This thing is just glitching out. There's a, there's a guy, they're trying to send a gift, which is ironic because he's probably trying to send a gift to me, but for whatever reason it's glitching out alpha problems. But yes, after this, I mean, this might be the last episode of this season of Kingdoms and Castles, but the idea was, so right now we have um, one, two, three, four, five island chains, right? And for the sake of it, we probably need to build a castle here. Haha, -ha, we discovered a new land. What should we name it? Penultimate. Why? I don't know. It's the penultimate island that we had to get. So what we need to do is build a cottage. We'll get one cottage. And we'll get an apple farm going. We'll also get one forester over here when he's closer to the roads. Oh, that's bad. A Viking invasion's happening. Where are they? Oh, they're all here. Ooh. No, they're actually coming down here as well. We've got a tower down here. That, that should be fine. Now, I'm not sure what's going to be hitting the main island. I don't see anything out in the horizon. So they'll have to make their way. Making their way downtown. Vikings get shot by lots of people with arrows. Da 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 da. And they're all dead. Because we are the mighty army here. Look, look, look at this. Oh, yeah. By the way, make sure to hit the bell button. It's something I don't always ask. I know there's a lot of channels out there that are like super big. Like every video, subscribe, hit the bell. But like... Here, here's the thought. My one request is I've got a big announcement coming this weekend. So hit the bell for a few days and then hit the bell back if you don't. After the announcement, it, it would do me a huge favor because I'm really excited for it. Oh my God, it's probably the biggest thing that it's the beginning of, of something great. I'll tell you that much. Obviously the rest is gonna come in the video. Let's get some farms. In our little Netherlands farming district up here, we, we've got this. 
Look at the little ballista taking sniping shots. I just think this is so fun. And I guess we could probably put another one in here. Let's see. 15, 18, okay, yeah. I think I'm gonna put another little granary over here. So if this one fills up, they can run it all the way over there. Or maybe we could even get a wagon, who knows? I just wanted to do that because, so there's actually like little geographical differences and little areas of the country and our land have personality, I guess you could call it. Okay, but we're here for the big event, right? So let's see, do we have anything on the way? Catapult's currently training. We could probably get another. I feel like just, the, I, I don't want to have a failed invasion. We don't want this to be the Diep de raid. You know, that, that raid in World War II that was a disaster. We want this to be Operation Overlord. D-Day, Normandy. We want to have surprise in force. See, but at any point I can declare war on Mr. Google. We've got seven armies four archer squads, two catapults. Each of these can carry three. So we can carry carry 15 units. Ooh, we can carry. Mm. So we actually might need another boat. Now I think it's only fair that we declare war before we invade. So it's a right and proper invasion. Look at this, the Netherlands, yay. Wait a minute, how come I can't get farms out here? Oh, they're too far from roads. How funny is that? <laughs> that is funny. 87 happiness. The peasants are in excellent health. Yeah, it says foreign envoy en route, but he's not. He's he's jammed. <laughs> Let's check in with free real estate. Because this was truly free real estate. We're running out of apple storage. Huh. Where's the merchant? Does he have any special items? I love special items. No special items today. Guess we could always buy more weapons. No, no weapons for sale. Low on fish. Here we go. Now what's cool is we increased our treasury size uh, by putting some over here in this little castle. This is like, this castle is to protect the south as well as a bunch of our gold. If I was the Vikings, I'd try to break in there, grab all the gold and dip, dip, potato chip right out of there. Ooh, we got three catapults. The dragon's been sighted. Hopefully the dragon doesn't just like burn our units. All right, two baby dragons, nothing really to worry about in my personal opinion. Look how cool the castle looks like. You know what? There's some things I guess we never really built, right? We never built a diplomacy thing. It allows you to sell, uh, send envoys. We'll do that in the next one. Yeah, that's another big thing. Like this is, this is the last episode of, I will say this season, not necessarily the series, but that really ultimately depends on you guys. If we should continue the kingdoms and castles series. You guys know what to do. I mean, it's what we've been doing the whole time. Gentlemen, it is time to board your ships. Say goodbye to your loved ones. We need the other ship. Now we can carry 18 units. We'll dock them over here. Man, so many fires breaking out, you know? Oh, it was a dragon, I guess. Rebuild. Ooh, one thing that I think would be cool is after you kill, what are you guys doing with the water over there? Why are you outside? That doesn't make any sense. Can you, can, can someone please be f Not dumb. Wait, the other dragon's here too? Oh my God, we killed two dragons. Yay, toast. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan Williams has died of old age along with 17 other peasants. Recently homeless. <gasps> what? What burnt? Oh my goodness. Wow. We have a homeless issue because a dragon successfully burned down part of the city. And this house is actually on fire. I mean, there's a fire brigade. Whew. Okay, we gotta rebuild that. that. That's gonna make people unhappy, but 92 happiness. Excited about the recent dragon kill. Heck yeah. Speaking of dragon kills, let's go kill an empire. All right, so what we wanna do is we gotta send in the first waves. We're gonna have two ships that are gonna be completely filled with men at arms. Is it a good idea? I don't know, I've never done an invasion before. So this is wave one. All right, now we got catapults, three catapults. All right, so this guy's got two swordsmen and an archers. He's kind of wave 1.5. And then these three ships have the catapults. And there we go, all the ships. So if I tell them all to go, ooh, that's nice. Okay, oh my gosh, this is finally happening in kingdoms and castles, something we've waited for for a while. Okay, we're gonna do this thing called scum saving. And we are gonna go, hey Google, we are enemies now. We need a little more like, duh, duh. He, he taunts us like, I will end you and stuff like that. Uh, now we wanted to land over here, so we will move out. There's our ships, our Navy, look at this. Okay, so you're this guy. You're looking over the channel and you see six warships 
just like stacked full of people. Then they all got like sh sharp pointy sticks. Wh what are you gonna do? You gonna be scared? I have a bad feeling about this. Oh, I have a bad feeling about this. Gentlemen, you may dock when ready. D-Day invasion, woo, woo. Dump them out, dump them out. Everybody out. What? Why isn't the, oh my God, does he have no one in the towers? Because they're starving? <gasps> I thought this was gonna be uh, much more dangerous than it is. It's free real estate. Okay, let's pull the ships out. Well, this makes the landing much easier. Oh wait, we, we're actually under attack. How do we, how do we attack these towers? Oh, we're burning them. Just like the Vikings do. All right, we're burning that. Now let's get the catapults. Okay, we're setting in the infantry to burn down the castle. What happens when I burn down the castle? Do I have to clear everything here? Oh, these archers are getting absolutely wrecked. Okay, everybody destroy this. The catapults are laying siege. This boat needs to drop them off. Oh my God, this is, this is not a very good raid. Ships pull back. Catapults are doing okay. How's the castle doing? We're burning it. Their archers are still firing, I think. There we go. Just go for the castle. Just do it. Pull the ship back. Look, look at this gift they have. I wish I could click on it. That's their emissary that they've been trying to load on the ship. So even with not too much opposition, I'd still say we, we got a decent amount of casualties here. And I think the objective is to kill their castle. This is gonna be very interesting to see what happens here all right come on destroy it we got catapults knights archers jeez we need like battering rams or something how, how much health does it have all right you know what oh you've defeated me oh so what okay king de janus i am exiling you that would be kind of cool if you had more options and this is what i would love i would really really love and I, this is probably so beyond the scope of the game. But wouldn't it be cool if you could exile the guy or put him in prison, but you actually had to put him in a physical prison, you'd build it, and there was a possibility of him being rescued by maybe Vikings or rival kingdoms or something like that? I don't know. It's probably complicated. He's very unfavorable of us, probably because, well, we conquered him. So be it. I pray you treat my people well. Wow. He's devastated, by the way. <laughs> okay. So now do I have to build a castle over here? What do I do? Maybe I have to rebuild it. So this is this is mine now, right? Now everybody's starving. So we'll move all the armies out of the uh, city center here. What's this? Destroy this merchant ship. Oh, these are his merchant ships. We'll just destroy them to get rid of them. Try to stabilize this place. Um, one of the first things we need to do is allow movement between the area here. We'll probably want to build a bridge, but that's deep water, right? He was trying to do that. Oh, what are you doing? Is this a fishing hut? Yeah. Can't really get rid of that. Okay. There we go. Uh, oh Lord. What is, what are you, honey, what is he doing? There we go. That should allow me to build a path under this aqueduct connecting the kingdom over here. Yes. Everybody's starving. Plus 69. Okay. Guess we could get rid of these walls. Now we can connect it? Well, not really. It's a little bit better, but not much. We need to connect over here, but there's the house in the way. <laughs> what an absolutely wild town. All right, let's check the job priority here. Timber workers, farmers need to be front. Orchard is second. Honestly, archers could be near the bottom. Windmill workers needs to be higher. Fishing industry needs to be higher. So many people are dying. <laughs> from absolute starvation. Now we need to go pick up all of our army. This is wild. We have to stabilize this economy. Look at this. The, hmm. This is so wild. Lord Google, I'm glad we supplanted him because he... He, he didn't know how to do things. All right, so we're, we're removing the army. Although you'd probably want to keep an occupational force behind, right? But there's just like no real room over here. We'll leave it in the harbor. We'll do what the British did, you know, just leave a big old navy like, hello, you wanna, you wanna mess around what? Who's gonna die? Hey, look at this. People ain't happy over here. Why aren't you happy? You got everything you need. Not much really, but you know what it is, what it is. Yeah, so at this point I have all these ships and I don't know what to do with them. I guess we could scrap them. But look at this, we own all of the islands. All five islands are under our control. This one could be big. So here's the question. I think it's safe to say, that we've conquered this one. So what we have to do is decide what we want to do. If I went to New, 
Standard mode. This is the comments that we want now. This is a big event, other than you guys hitting the bell for the massive announcement coming this weekend. I feel like we could do Summern or Vintar. We did Summern and the dragons never got huge. Long, lovely summers. More raiders and dragons. Possible to lose if happiness goes too far, too low for too long. Ooh. So say, we'll just go with that. Cause what I want is uh, we can pick a new seed. I want it large and I want island Ooh, this is coming soon there we go now we can add multiple rivals so it looks like maybe we can only add two but they were friendly to us this one's actually a decent map but you know what i mean so this is the idea do we add as many ai empires as we can pick our island and put here we go so if i put horsia on this island and meowtonia over here and i think there's an option to kind of like make them bad right and so now we got this little neutral island but which one would i have wanted probably that one's tons of iron this one's huge. But so that's what we could do. We could make them hostile. So if you guys do want to see more kingdoms and castles, we'll pull the trigger on the like button and let me know. And hey, this time I'm going to ask you guys to hit that bell button for the big week weekend announcement. Thanks for watching. And a big shout out and thank you to Warpath for sponsoring this video. Make sure to check them out using the link in the description below. And I'll see you in the next one.